What's going on everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about a little bit of reef tank wisdom is what I like to call it. Or maybe it's reef tank advice or maybe it's really just my opinion. But either way, uh, I'm going to be calling it reef tank wisdom. And the reason why I call it that is because I want to talk about a few things that I've uh, realized or have acknowledged over the past four years of being in this hobby that have been very beneficial and very helpful. I don't want to go over a ton of things. I want to really just go over mainly three things today. This is really good for, I believe it's really good for somebody that's thinking about getting into the hobby, somebody that's just started, or somebody that's been in the hobby for over 20 years. This could help anybody and like I said, this is all just my opinion. This is all just stuff that I've gathered since being in the hobby for four years. That's it. So number one is equipment. What I mean by equipment is, is you don't have to have the very best, the very latest equipment to run a successful reef tank. Okay, You don't have to have the top of the line skimmer, the top of the line lights, you know, the best reactor out there. You just, you really don't need it. Now, it may be very easily affordable to you, and that's fine. You can get the best of the best, but that does not mean you're going to have the best results. Uh, a lot of times, somebody will be running a skimmer, and then the brand new model came out with this feature and that feature, and what I have found is that uh, an old used skimmer that's five years old is just as good as brand new high tech, you know, equipment. It's definitely, uh, you know, to each his own on what they want to get. But in my experience, you don't have to have the best to get the best. And by get the best, I mean get the best results. It's just not needed. So, you know, I'm going to recommend going with what's in your budget. And if you want to go for that piece of equipment that is just out of reach of your budget, you know, that's totally up to you. It's your reef tank. I'm not going to be the one to tell you how to run it. I'm not going to tell you how to do things. I'm just going to tell you what may help you. And I think really not getting uh, caught up in the latest and greatest will definitely be beneficial for anybody down the road. Next, I really want to talk about coral. So, you know, things are changing. Some countries do not ex export coral anymore. Things are getting a little crazy with prices. You know, they're coming up with new fancy names for coral that have been around for 20 years. Now all of a sudden they have fancy names. So the next thing I want to talk about is don't get caught up in the hype. And what I mean is, is don't get caught up in the hype of you need the best looking coral, the most expensive, the one with a specific name to, you know, be, I guess you could say, cool, or, um, you know, you know, you're that person with the awesome coral. Nah, I've never really gone after a coral and said, oh my God, I gotta have it. Everybody else has it. I gotta have the best one, the biggest one, the brightest one. Nah, that's just not me. You could have a tank full of no-name zoanthids, no-name you know, SPS and LPS, all, all these just random no-name frags that you know are caught in the wild and let it grow out, let it get healthy and colorful, and it would be the nicest reef tank compared to anybody else's. So don't get caught up in the hype of that you need this you know specific coral because everybody else has it and it's the best. We're looking right now at a mushroom that I got for 20 bucks a little over two years ago. It was solid orange, about the size of a nickel. Now it's split into two. It's got like nine different colors on it. It's got these little weird bounces on it. It's just, this is one of my most favorite corals and I got it for 20 bucks two years ago and it's blossomed into this. So, like I said, you don't need to have the best to be the best. Don't get caught up in that hype. You like something, even if nobody else likes it, or if it's just, you know, it, it may be bland looking, 
go for it. Get it, put it in your tank. If you can run a nice, healthy reef tank, it's going to be a nice, healthy coral, and you never know what it's going to turn into. Okay, and last but not least, I want to talk about what I think is probably, you know, I think, to me, it is the most important thing that everybody, really myself, I'm going to say everybody, it is the most important thing that I have found to be um, the most beneficial, the most helpful, the most important, and it could definitely be for everybody else that's in the hobby. Like I said, this is for anybody that's just starting out, anybody that's been doing it for, you know, a month or a year, or anybody that's been doing it for, you know, 24 years. I think the most important thing is the buddy system. And what I mean by the buddy system is, is having somebody that's in the hobby that enjoys it just as much as you, if not more, somebody that you can talk to on the phone or a local reef club or even somebody that works at your LFS that's working there every day you go there, somebody that you can talk to on a regular basis, share information, share thoughts, talk about things, I think that's very crucial. Even if it's somebody that runs a completely different reef tank, even if you've been doing it for a year and somebody else has been doing it for 10 I think, you know, trading information back and forth and ideas and thoughts is probably what I consider to be the key to success in this hobby. Because really, you can you can watch videos and I watch a wa a lot of videos and I learn a lot. But I I wouldn't be able to do this hobby on only watching videos or only reading articles or, you know, only seeing pictures. No. You got to talk to somebody you have to talk to somebody that's just starting out, somebody that's experimenting, because you know those guys that experiment uh, usually are the smart ones. The guys that kind of you know go off the path and try things and get great results is somebody that I want to talk to on a daily basis. I want to talk to somebody that's been doing it a long time and get their feedback, and I also want to talk about you know, talk to people that have been doing it for just a short amount of time because all the different types of information is is just really great, especially on thoughts. We, we as, you know, reefers um, are always thinking, always coming up with ideas, always seeing new things, always hearing new things, trying new things. And the buddy system, it's, it's definitely the key to success. Nobody can do it on their own. Nobody. Nobody's just gone to a store and bought a tank and water and fish and coral and not done any research on it other than just read a book, you know, and if you're watching a specific YouTube channel and they've been, you know, successful with their YouTube career, that is, you know, one of your buddies, I would call it. If, you know, if you pick a good channel um, and you watch and you learn and they're doing good, you'll most likely do good as well. But buddy system, definitely, you know, definitely crucial. If you are new and you're not aware of any um, frag swaps or reef clubs nearby, just it's very easy to find. Just Google it, you know, reef club near me or, you know, saltwater aquarium club near me or whatever it may be, events. You'll find something, trust me, they're all over the place. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something you want to add to, um, you know, tips on being successful or wisdom or advice or opinions, please leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if one of the three things that I've mentioned you've never thought of, or even if one of the things that I've mentioned is uh, a great idea or something that you do or something that you use. And, you know, who's your reefing buddy? Do you, have, do you run by the buddy system? Who's your go-to person when you need advice or uh, wisdom or knowledge, whatever you want to call it? So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It's been a great hobby. I love it. Uh, I love all the people I've met. Um, well, most of them. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's a fun hobby. Keep it fun. You know, don't get caught up in the hype. Get a reefing buddy. And it's, you know, 
and it, it should be a great time. She should have a lot of fun with it. So until next time, everybody, I will see you guys later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.